Hey cruise fans and welcome back to Ray and Sue's Travel Channel. We're on the beautiful vision of the seas on an eight day cruise around the Mediterranean. Fancy seeing what she looks like? Then come with us as we tour decks four, five and six. Enjoy. Okay, so uh, outside of the dining room, we have uh, another little bar area. Um, this is uh, the atrium and typically where you'll find a, uh, a live band uh, in the evening and, and in the afternoons, providing some entertainment and lovely seating. And of course a bar to get yourself a nice drink. Uh, overall, a lovely little ambience and uh, a great entertainment venue. And the bar in the atrium itself. And this is of course deck four and a lovely little uh, outlook in terms of the atrium itself and of course you'll be able to see uh, all the way up to about deck eight or deck nine you can see where our, the lifts etc go and i'll give you another shot of that in a little while but uh, yes, overall, uh, a nice little venue. And also on deck four, also on deck four, you will find the next cruise area where you can come and talk to somebody about your current cruise and uh, speculate on what options you might have for your next cruise on board Royal Caribbean. So uh, there's some staff down here, the next cruise team who will uh, book an appointment for you where you can come down and get some personal service to think, you know to uh, choose your your next cruise and of course there's always pieces of information in there multilingual as well uh, useful information for you to pick up nice little waiting area uh, for you and the open area and, and an area where people do tend to gather so that's the atrium on deck four. So we'll go up the stairs from the atrium. Up to deck five. Okay, so here on deck five, of course, you will find the uh, other entrance to the Aquarius dining room and back on deck five around the atrium itself you'll find the uh, customer services area over on the left hand side as you're as you're viewing it by the TV um, and some nice seating here uh, as part of the lounge and a really lovely view again of the atrium itself and the, the balconies and the viewing areas on the subsequent floors above. So also in the, the atrium on deck five by customer services is shore excursions. So you can come down here, take a look at why excursions are available and uh, book yourself uh, a nice trip uh, when in port uh, on your cruise. So, speak to the Shore Excursions team. And then, of course, another closer view of the guest relations area. Of course, there's no one there at the moment because most people are still asleep. It's quite early in the morning now, so uh, no one needing attention. So, also on deck five in the atrium is the Voom area. This is where you can go and speak to somebody with regards to internet packages and any issues or problems that you may experience. Uh, there's a little desk here and it's open at varying times during the day. So that's the Voom area on deck five. So also near customer services, uh, there are some uh, banking uh, services, obviously, so a cash machine where you can withdraw cash should you wish to do so. Okay, next on deck five, 
is a very useful uh, screen. Um, gives an indication of your cruise and whereabouts you're going. And we're on the eight day cruise around the Mediterranean. So you'll see on the map there uh, a variety of different ports where we'll, we'll stop and uh, where we currently are on uh, that map. So quite useful in understanding exactly what our route is and where we're going. So next on deck five, we have Casino Royale. And uh, obviously Casino is closed at the moment. Uh, it's early in the morning and hopefully we won't get a copyright strike as a result of hearing the music above. But I'll keep talking and that should uh, do the job. In here in the casino, you'll find the casino bar and a variety of uh, slot machines, the standard slot machines. And this is a smoking and non-smoking casino, so you should be aware of that. Um, of course, um, we understand the right of people to smoke. What they've tried to do is they've tried to split it 50-50, so on one side you can, on one side uh, you should not smoke. Um, and as we go round into the sort of main area, we can also see uh, roulette tables and there's a uh, casino bar host um, and also a number of other uh, tables which are blackjack and, uh, and poker and three card brag, etc. So the standard sort of tables that you'd expect to see in a casino. So that's the uh, Casino Royale on deck five. Okay, so we come out of Casino Royale on deck five and as we uh, move towards uh, the theatre, Masquerade Theatre. Uh, this is uh, on deck four and five and we'll go in there now and show you what that looks like. And so we're in the Masquerade Theatre and uh, obviously nicely decorated. Of course there's some various pieces of art uh, on the entrance to the theatre itself. And of course the theatre uh, uh, is spread over two floors. Of course there's like a ground floor and then subsequently a balcony uh, level which I'll share with you in a minute. But uh, it's uh, a traditional looking theatre. Little areas where you can store your drink in your seat. Comfy seats and you don't see these very often but double seats. Uh, perhaps a, uh, uh, a look back on uh, older, olden day theatres where you can sit together with your partner um, which is all very nice and in here of course you will see the production shows um, and the theatre itself of course uh, is a large bank of uh, very comfortable seating and then Upstairs you will see a, another uh, level of seating um, where uh, you can get a great view of the production show. So that's the theatre on deck four and up here on deck five you will see the upper tier for the theatre itself and of course um, the view that you'll be able to see from here and uh, a great set of uh, seating quite close actually to the production stage which is always very nice to, to, to sit at. Okay, so that's the theatre on Vision of the Sea. So in the Masquerade Theatre as well you will see uh, an information board really just giving a description of today's activities. So at any given time on the ship, there will be a number of activities going on and where they are. And this information uh, is readily available. Okay, so as we move along now, 
As we come out of the Masquerade Theatre on deck six, we can see the Centrum shops. And in here you will see uh, typically the sorts of shops that you would might see on a cruise ship. So you know, jewellery stores, branded goods, uh, various clothing uh, stores, etc. Where you can pick yourself up some uh, great products. So we'll just take you through here. Now of course the shops are not open so visibility about what's in the store might be limited but we'll do our best. So this first store is Facets, it's the jewellery store and obviously you've seen some of the items there already uh, but a quick glance inside the store shows a variety of jewellery items, necklaces, watches, rings, etc. And the most you know, popular brands obviously are available. And little displays on the side that actually give an indication of what's around. So that's the jewellery store. The next store we'll go to is uh, a store mostly for the ladies, which is like a, a handbag personal item store uh, which is here on the uh, right hand side and typically in here you'll see this is called Marco Polo typically you'll see sunglasses and bags and various accessories um, you know an indication of some of the product there and they do have clearance sales so they will uh, you can find a bargain from time to time. And in the next store, uh, we can see it's called the shop. And in here, typically it's a, a mix of different items like watches uh, and clothing and hats. And anything that you might have come away with that you may well have forgotten, you can usually pick it up in the shop and uh, quite a large space given over to the sale of various items. So that's the shop. And next in the Centrum shops is Solera. Solera is one of those stores where you can pick up various, various items of skincare and makeup and various travel items, perhaps things that you may have forgotten before coming away but also uh, makeup and uh, perfume, etc. So that's Solera. And there's a convenient little sort of walkway, gangway through to the photographic area. So in the photographic area, of course, you can pick up various items of, uh, you know, perhaps for your cameras or, or binoculars or batteries or memory cards, things that you might have forgotten or suddenly or subsequently need. And there's usually a uh, selection of things that are on sale uh, for you to purchase, all related to photography or body videography. And you can also see, of course, the uh, variety of different uh, gift items that you can purchase and if you're grabbing memories of your cruise through some of the photographs that are taken, taken of you uh, during your cruise then you can get them packaged up in these sorts of uh, photo albums. Okay so in the uh, photo gallery itself now um, you'll see that uh, there's now been a change in terms of what you can see on display in the galleries. Uh, we're no longer in a world which prints off thousands upon thousands of photographs. Uh, you can get all of these photos that are taken of you in software form and you come up to the photo gallery itself, take a look at the photos that have been taken of you and make your selection from a computer system and then the team will print those out. So, so no longer do you see a whole 
raft of photos that may not be purchased and subsequently have to be recycled. Uh, the main photo uh, store desk is here and an opportunity for you to purchase those photos but uh, um, them not be wasted by printing out thousands of photographs as has been happening uh, uh, historically. So that's the photo gallery on deck six. Okay, so still on deck six. Uh, here we are, we have the art gallery and art gallery reception. And of course, the variety of different uh, pieces of art that are available, both pictures and uh, ceramics. So that's uh, quite useful to see and it and is typical for most cruise ships these days. Uh, Park West are here to be able to uh, sell you some some art if that's what you would like and of course a really important area on the ship is the coffee bar so latitudes uh, coffee bar where you can get yourself an early morning uh, coffee or hot drink and uh, a light uh, a light snack a breakfast snack and uh, our friend here will uh, will provide uh, that for you um, opens early in the morning and uh, is available throughout most periods during the day and still on six by the coffee bar and art studio is uh, a very small but functional uh, Wi-Fi area or uh, internet cafe where you can get access to the internet through your package. Okay so as we leave the uh, Centrum area on deck six uh, we come around and we can see now the schooner bar. Uh, the schooner bar made up of a number of different venues that I'll share with you now. Um, but quite a popular area on board uh, the ship. And let's go in. Okay, so within the schooner bar itself, you'll find Giovanni's Table, which is one of the upscale restaurants. And also the Diamond Club. Um, and conference centre. So let's go around and let's have a look at some of those areas. So as we get into the schooner bar itself, of course, it's a typical nautical theme. So you'll find uh, rigging and various pieces of ship art. Uh, as we go through. But the first thing that you'll see is, of course, the bar. Uh, we have a, a nice bar here um, full of, of attentive uh, staff who will look after your uh, alcohol and non-alcohol needs. Um, nice, comfortable seating, um, both sides. And also, on a regular basis, we'll have a piano set here. Um, not too much light here so I hope you can pick that out but uh, a pianist will come up and will play uh, contemporary uh, piano pieces and also uh, sing along with that and as we go further through the Shuna bar we can get to Giovanni's table so the light's a little low here, so uh, hopefully that won't detract from the uh, video footage. But uh, a lovely restaurant and quite a traditional uh, style, um, accentuated with uh, you know hills of, uh, of pictures of Tuscany and uh, various uh, areas around on the walls, and a, a lovely little layout. We were actually here last evening, and it was an ex excellent experience, a fantastic menu and a lovely place to come and get that uh, exquisite meal. So, But this is obviously an upscale uh, restaurant so you will pay an additional charge for the uh, meal itself and typically runs out about 50 or so dollars plus tax plus gratuity. Uh, so Giovanni's table on deck six. Okay, so that's Giovanni's table, and as we 
uh, go further there is a lounge it's called some enchanted evening lounge and as we walk through we will see uh, another bar on the right hand side uh, which within which you can get your uh, your favorite tipple or get a refreshing drink and as we go further into the lounge we can see quite a wide expansive area um, with a stage and a dance floor and an area for uh, entertainment of varying forms um, and some real comfortable seating uh, an area where you would probably want to come and spend uh, quite a bit of time so of course the comfort level was really important and overall a really really nice uh, feel to the lounge uh, it's not so big that it uh, becomes uh, less intimate it's quite a nice friendly place with some great facilities and of course uh, bars um, to support whatever activity is going on okay so the next area that we'll come to is the diamond club now the diamond club is uh, access only to diamond diamond plus and pinnacle members and in order for you to get access to that you of course need a, a key card to gain access and you access through the uh, electronic control door so this is the diamond club and as we enter into the diamond club you'll be able to see the reception area this is where the concierge the diamond concierge will uh, sit and will provide for you uh, various uh, support and there is of course an indication of the hours of operation so typically you'll know when to come down and speak to the diamond concierge uh, if you have any issues or you'd like them to book you something you can come down here and now into the main diamond lounge now of course it's not massive it's not big um, there'll be a limited number of of higher tier crown and anchor members on board the cruise ship so they don't need to pass too much space over to a lounge for that purpose but what you will find is a nice comfortable area nice and quiet out of the way um, obviously limited opportunity for uh, individuals to get in here unless you have access and um, nicely here now you can see that in the morning they will make a continental breakfast available for you so you can get some fresh fruit and you can get some yogurts and parfaits etc and also some sweet items uh, of uh, pan au chocolat and uh, croissants etc donuts and also some uh, some meats and some uh, cheese and some smoked salmon uh, so that's set up from early in the morning so you can come down here grab yourself a little bit of breakfast a continental breakfast and of course teas and coffee available it's got its own coffee machine where you can get espressos and lattes and cappuccinos etc and you can take away or drink in um, and also there's a toaster there so if you wanted some toasted bread you can have that so that's the diamond lounge inside the schooner bar on deck six so that's the schooner bar, including Giovanni's table and the dining, the diamond club, and also the lounge to the rear of the ship. So we hope that's been useful. And if you like this video, why not check out our channel, Ray and Sue's Travel Channel, where you'll find a raft of other cruise videos covering the Far East, the Middle East, the Mediterranean, and the Caribbean and Mexico. So please leave us any comments that you'd like and consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It's through your subscription that this channel can grow. So we hope you've enjoyed this ship tour 
of decks four, five and six of the lovely Vision of the Seas. In the next video, we're going to be sharing with you the restaurants, cafes and bars. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye.